Well, just a little story. Uh, this morning on Good Morning America, Disney and Lucasfilm finally revealed the first trailer for director Gareth Edwards' Star Wars story, Rogue One, giving us our first good look at the movie set in the time period between Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and Episode 4's A New Hope. We meet Felicity Jones' character of Jin proudly identifying herself as a rebel, followed by a slew of familiar Star Wars images, including stormtroopers, imperial walkers, and royal guards. The two-minute trailer stoked the fire in Star Wars fans everywhere setting up another must-see movie for the fans with Disney poised to steal more box office records. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, debuts in theaters this December 17th. Christian, you loved the trailer, didn't you? Damn right I love this trailer. It was everything I wanted it to be except I couldn't watch it at 6 in the morning like everyone else because myself, John Campia, and Dennis, we did a trailer reaction slash review that's on this channel right now if you want to check that out. But look, this was everything that I wanted this movie to be because I read, like I've been talking about on Jedi Council, the Battlefront novel, which is essentially saving Private Ryan in the Star Wars world. They announced this at Star Wars Celebration that this is what this was going to be. Gareth Edwards said it's called Star Wars. It felt it. It felt gritty. It needed to feel different than the lighter tone of The Force Awakens and, and the other stuff that we had seen because they want to separate themselves the same way that Marvel does with their genre pieces with... Uh, if you have uh, Captain America Civil War was like a spy film and then Guardians of the Galaxy was the space opera and the heist film that Ant-Man was. This is the war, the pure war film so far. I like what I saw. I like the, I'm like. i curious of whether or not Ben Mendelsohn is going to be playing a version of Admiral Thrawn. Um, there's so much as a Star Wars geek to me that sounds exciting. But Sam, we were talking about it before yeah. when we were watching it. What did you think, first of all, of the trailer and any thoughts and concerns? No, I thought the trailer looked great. Uh, I'm very excited to see the movie. And, uh, you know, the uh, fan that I am of Star Wars, I still asked because I thought I knew the answer, but I wanted to make sure I said, so this is the first of the standalone movies that they said they were going to do. And uh, then you inform me, you know, it takes place sort of right before episode four and it, it is a standalone. But I mean, if this movie is as successful as I expect... Oh, are we going to get Rogue 2? Right, right. That's that's a great question, too, Hal. Uh, Christian, I'm just excited that there's finally a Star Wars movie that deals with destroying a planet-sized weapon. Okay? Oh. I mean, I've been clamoring for that. It hasn't happened it, yet. It hasn't happened yet. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, we're back to that. But actually... Um, that aside, they're, I think but the they're trailer... not going to try to destroy this in this one. They're just getting the plans for it. Yeah, they're just getting the, they're just getting the deets. Yeah, a little recon. Right. Um, uh, Star Wars Rogue One recon. Did you love uh, the trailer? Um, I really like the trailer. Yeah. And the two things that have me most excited about this film, I mean, the um, I, I love uh, the female protagonist looks fantastic, but Forrest Whitaker and Ben Mendelsohn. Yeah. Um, we we haven't seen actors like that in a Star Wars film in I Can't Remember. And those guys are fantastic. I uh, can't wait to see them chew scenery and act the hell out of this movie. I think that that's what we should definitely look forward to. But there's other things. Someone said like, hey, you guaranteed an appearance by Darth Vader. Who's to say you didn't get an appearance by Darth Vader? Who is that person with the two Imperial guards looking at the back of the tank? Who is that? We don't know. It could be Vader, could not. I actually think it was a really smart move even the, a ballsy move that Vader, the rumors are that Vader's going to have a pretty, pretty big presence in this film. Why show him right now? If it, that's the little tease that we got of him, great. But the second, that full trailer that I think will probably hit around Comic-Con time, that is or Star Wars Celebration, that's when you show him in all of his glory because then you say, okay, look, follow these characters, what this is about, start talking about it now because Sam brought yeah. up the point and Mark Riley was talking to too. A lot of these casual fans are saying, is this a continuation like of The Force Awakens? Like, what is this? This is going to start the questions. This is going to, people are going to go, no, 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 actually what this is is this is a prequel basically to episode four. Then that will be out there. Everyone's talking about this trailer. Then when it's time, to show Vader, you show him. I mean, yeah, I totally yeah. agree. You don't need to show Vader yet. It's kind of like uh, for Civil War, they saved up Spidey um, until the very, uh, like, basically the last trailer. Right. Yeah. What do you think, Sam? I think this is the fear of the walking dead of the Star Wars world. <laughs> <laughs> but, Am I wrong? But teasing it a little bit? Yeah, to... teasing it. It's a different story, right. but it fits in with the main theme. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the fans... Would it be the Joey of the Friends world? It might be. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, I'm a for big fan of the universe. For sure. And I 100% agree with you. The gritty tone, 
yeah, I want to see this Star Wars war movie. Yep. This clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.